This is going to be an epic race through the Los Santos. Are you clowns ready? Oh, yes, Donald. I'm ready. Not sleepy at all. Totally ready. First, though, let's give a huge shout out to Editor Her, who commented, when I post, I feel joy well done. Thank you for the comment. Always joyful when I can play a with good old Donnie and Obama. Make sure you leave a comment to be shouted out on the next video just like this. Obama, why do you always get to be the one on camera? I mean, Dan, let me get some camera time. Come on, man. I mean, seriously. Folks, this, this is crazy. This is malarkey. Let me get on camera. Calm down, Joe. We will get you and Donald some camera time soon. For me to show the viewers a true master, it's time to race through Los Santos. I'll beat you guys there, obviously. Good luck. Good luck. Come on, guys, keep up. I'm already halfway across the city. You two are slower than a snail on a Sunday stroll. Slow. Uh, speak for yourself, Obama. I'm just strategically conserving my energy. Joe, on the other hand, looks like he's out for a leisurely jog in the park. Hurry up, sleepy Joe. We've got a city to conquer. I'm running as fast as I can, all right? At least I'm not sprinting like a madman, attracting every cop in Los Santos. You know, Donald, sometimes it pays to be a little cautious. We don't all have to be bull in a china shop types like you. Uh, Joe's got a point, Donald. This isn't a race. We need to be smart about this. We've got to complete the mission, not just run around causing chaos, though. I must admit, your running styles are hilarious. It's like watching a sitcom. Smart. I'm the smartest runner here. I know all the best routes. Nobody knows Los Santos like I do. Joe, on the other hand, is probably getting lost. Joe, you do know where we're going, right? I don't want to have to call in a search party. Oh, Donald, I know where we are going. I'm not stupid, okay? I'm not sleeping. I know exactly where I am. I think... A Donald. Your strategic conserving of energy looks an awful lot like you're just out of breath. And Joe, appreciating the scenery is great, but let's focus on the mission. We've got a job to do. Just follow me and try not to get distracted by the ice cream shops, Joe. Yeah, Joe, we don't have time for ice cream breaks. This is serious business. We've got enemies to eliminate, cars to steal, and money to make. Stick with the program. I hate you, Donald. Maybe I like taking my time. Not everyone wants to run around like a headless chicken. And for the record, I'm perfectly capable of keeping up. I don't need your commentary. Calm down, guys. We are all together here. Stop bickering. Fine, but if we fail, it's on Joe. I'm doing my part. I'm the best at this game. Everyone knows it. Joe, you better step up your game. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Donald, let's just get this done. I'm tired of listening to you brag about your so-called skills. This is why we can't have nice things. But seriously, guys, let's pull it together. We've got a city to take over. You know, I never thought I'd see the day when the three of us would be running around Los Santos. It's kind of surreal. I mean, who would have guessed that a former president would be spending his downtime virtually sprinting through a chaotic city? But there's something incredibly liberating about it. And no secret service, no motorcades, just pure, unadulterated freedom. And let's face it. The mayhem is oddly therapeutic. There's nothing like a good digital chase to get the blood pumping. Plus, it's hilarious watching you two trying to keep up with me. Surreal, this is my kind of town. Fast cars, high stakes, and no rules. It's like being back in the White House, but with more explosions. And let's not forget, I always knew I'd excel in a place like this. It's a, it's a perfect mix of strategy and chaos, just like politics. Joe, on the other hand, looks like he's out for a leisurely jog in the park. Hurry up, sleepy Joe. We've got a city to conquer not a botanical garden to stroll through. And you know, Obama, you may think you're fast, but speed isn't everything. It's about making the right moves at the right time. That's how you win big, just like in real life. I'm running as fast as I can, oh my God. You know, Donald, sometimes it pays to be a little cautious. We don't all have to be bull and sign shop types like you. And while you're busy trying to outpace everyone, I'm taking in the sights. It's a beautiful city after all. The graphics are incredible. Maybe you should try and join it instead of just bulldozing through everything. And speaking of chaos, remember that time you tried to bribe a cop with Monopoly money? That was a classic. But hey, as long as we're having fun, right? As God seriously, there's a lot to appreciate here. The detail in the city, the random events, it's also immersive. And when we're not dodging bullets, it's kind of nice to just explore. But let's not forget why we're here. We've got objectives to complete, and I'd rather not spend all my time reviving you two. So let's try to keep it together, all right? 
And while you're busy sightseeing, I'm making strategic moves. You see, it's not just about running. It's about knowing the city inside and out. That's what separates the winners from the losers. And speaking of winning, I think I've got the highest score here just saying, maybe you guys should take notes. I know exactly where we're going, Donald. I've got the map right here. And for your information, I'm just taking in the sights. It's a beautiful city after all. You should try enjoying it instead of just bulldozing through everything. And let's be honest, your strategic moves often end up with us in more trouble than we started with. Remember the time you thought hiding in a dumpster would make us invisible to the cops? Yeah, that didn't go so well, but hey, at least we've got some great stories to tell. And no matter how many times we mess up, we always manage to pull through. That's teamwork. Just follow me and try not to get distracted or fall asleep, Joe. You know, there's something oddly satisfying about running through this virtual world. It's like being part of an action movie. And with you two, it's always a comedy. But let's try to stay on track. We've got to make sure we complete our objectives and avoid too much unnecessary chaos. Although a little chaos is part of the fun, right? Yeah, Joe, we don't have time for ice cream breaks. This, uh, this is serious business. We've got enemies to eliminate, cars to steal, and money to make, stick with the program, and Obama, you might think you're leading, but I've got my own plans. Plans that involve high risk, high reward strategies. That's how you get ahead in this game and in life. So while you're busy playing it safe, I'm out here making bold moves. And uh, Joe, try to keep up. We need all hands on deck if we're going to dominate this city. And believe me, we will. Let's not forget the time your strategy involved driving a tank off a cliff. That was a bold move, all right? But hey, as long as we're having a good time, that's what matters. And no matter how crazy things get, we always manage to pull through. So let's just enjoy the ride, okay? Well, let's just focus on the task at hand. We're almost at the objective, and Donald, try not to provoke Joe too much. We need him in one piece to complete this mission. But, you know, there's something really special about this game. It brings out the best and worst in us, mostly the worst in our case, but it's all in good fun. And no matter how many times we mess up, we always manage to have a good laugh. So let's keep the banner going and see what kind of trouble we can stir up next. It's going to be a wild ride. That's it, Joe. Joe, you're taking the reins now. It's time to show you the best, the most tremendous, the biggest, the baddest GTA player in the world. Let me handle this. But if we fail, it's on Joe. I'm doing my part. I'm the best at this game. Everyone knows it. Joe, you'd better step up your game. And Obama, your uh, leadership is appreciated, but sometimes you gotta take risks. That's how you get ahead. And while we're at it, let's see if we can find some more exciting challenges. This city is full of opportunities and I intend to take advantage of every single one. So let's move out and make some headlines. Los Santos won't know what hit it. Shut up, Donald. I'm tired of listening to you brag about your so-called skills. But you know, there's something really satisfying about working together, even if we argue like an old married couple. We've got each other's backs and that's what counts. So let's keep the momentum going and see what other trouble we can get into. And who knows, maybe we'll actually manage to pull off a mission without any major disasters. Stranger things have happened. You know, Joe, this has me thinking, you talk about ice cream a lot, but what's the best flavor? I mean, it's obvious to me the best ice cream flavor and everyone knows it is Vanilla, it's classic, it's strong, just like me. Biden probably likes some boring flavor like plain chocolate. Oh, come on, man. Vanilla? Really? That's as exciting as one of your press conferences. Chocolate, chocolate chip is where it's at. It's rich, smooth, and makes everyone happy, unlike your Twitter feed. Well, now, now you too. Let's not forget the greatness of mint chocolate chip. It's refreshing, balanced, and a bit sophisticated, much like my presidency compared to both of yours. Been chocolate chip. Really, Obama, that's the kind of flavor that tries too hard. Vanilla is the choice of winners, just like my election victories, huge. Yeah, right, Trump. Vanilla is for people who peaked in high school. Chocolate chocolate chip is for people who actually care about flavor. And I bet you eat it with a gold-plated spoon, too. You know, Listening to you two argue about ice cream is like watching a reality TV show. Oh, wait, that basically is. But seriously, mint chocolate chip brings the best of both worlds. 
It's the bipartisan choice of ice creams. Bipartisan, my ass. No one wants green ice cream, Obama. It's a mess, just like your healthcare website. At least his website worked eventually. Vanilla is just plain boring. Trump. Just like your speeches. Chocolate chocolate chip is exciting, just like the future I'm building. If only we could blend these flavors like we tried to, to blend our policies. But in the end, ice cream should bring us together. Except you two will never agree on anything, will you? You know, folks, I got to tell you, it's really something else. We're talking about GTA, Grand Theft Auto, the best game ever made, okay? Absolutely incredible. And then there's Joe, good old Joe. And I love the guy, but let's be honest, he's just not cut out for GTA. Every time we try to play together, it's like we're in two different games. I'm out there taking over Los Santos, making big moves, and what's Joe doing? He's over there getting lost in the alleyways or driving into the ocean like he thinks the car can swim. It's unbelievable. I mean, we're trying to pull off these epic heists and we need precision, we need focus. And there's Joe trying to figure out which button uh, makes the car go faster. The guy can't even handle switching weapons. We're in the middle of a shootout and he's fumbling around with his controller like it's his first time playing. It's a disaster, folks. I wish, believe me, I really wish Joe was better at the game. Imagine how much progress we could make if he could just, you know, keep up with the rest of us. But no, every time we're about to hit it big, Joe's character is off somewhere trying to figure out how to climb a ladder. It's painful to watch, really. And don't get me started on the missions. We're out there trying to take down entire gangs and Joe's busy accidentally running over pedestrians and getting the cops on us before we've even started. It's like he's working for the other side. I keep telling him, Joe, just follow the plan, stick with the team. But does he listen? No. He's off chasing after some random side mission, probably trying to buy snacks from a convenience store when we're supposed to be robbing a bank. Kiti is supposed to be about dominating the city, making strategic moves and rising to the top. But how are we supposed to do that when Joe's busy trying to figure out how to open the map? It's like we're carrying dead weight. Honestly, the game's so much better when Joe's not playing with us. We can actually get things done. Uh, rob some banks, take over some turf, you know, make some real progress. But every time he joins in, it's like the game turns into a in comedy show. He's jumping out of the car mid-mission, getting lost in the desert, or crashing the getaway vehicle into a tree. We'd be unstoppable if he could just get it together. But until then, folks, we're better off without him in the game. Maybe one day he'll get the hang of it. But for now, it's like trying to win the Super Bowl with a guy who thinks we're still playing PB football. Wow, you guys didn't even give me a chance. Both you and Donald won the race, but I wasn't even given any chance at all. This is malarkey. Next video, I get a head start. It's not fair. You guys know I'm retired now. I sleep longer than I used to, and that's saying something. Oh, seriously, get over yourself, Joe. A head start? <laughs> we will let the viewers decide. Does Joe deserve a damn head start, or should he compete like the rest of us? Comment below and let us know.